So I wanted to go over today how to find books in our collection that might assist you with your research. If you've already done your database searching for research and you're looking to see what books are on the shelves of the library here at Valley Middle School, um, this is a good place to go. And many of you are already familiar with the library catalog, but if it's been a while or if you just need a review, or maybe if it is brand new, this video I hope will be um, a little bit helpful. If we go to the Library Media Center homepage, which is linked right off of the academics page here on our Valley Middle School homepage, it brings you here and the very first button that you can press is Library Catalog. I hope that this page here looks familiar for Destiny Discover. This is one that if you've not already bookmarked to your own iPad, I would recommend doing so because it makes it very easy to find out if a certain book is located in our library collection. Now let's say I'm researching um, endangered sea turtles, for example. That would be a great thing to type in to the search box up here, but I might also consider typing in sea turtles, or to even broaden our scope more, I might type in turtles. So let's start with that. If I type in turtles and click enter, I can see in the top left corner here, results for turtles and the number 24. So it's telling me there are 24 books in our collection that match the search for turtles. But that does not mean that all of these books are nonfiction, or in other words, informational fact books about turtles. These would include um, fiction books, audiobooks, ebooks. The way for us to figure out what kind of book each of these is is by looking in the um, white writing here next to the three dots for each of um, the books listed. So for example, this one here, Turtles All the Way Down by John Green, um, even though it's not all the way written out here, you can see it says realistic. And so this is gonna be in our realistic fiction section. The next one over, it says e-audio, so it's an audio book. In order to determine if it is a non-fiction book, what we're looking for is something like this. This Green Sea Turtles by John Becker is a non-fiction book and we know it because it has what's called a call number that includes numbers on it. So this 597.92 indicates to us that we would go to the nonfiction shelves to find this book. So okay, if I've gone through this and I've looked to see there are 24 books that come up for turtles, but only three of them listed here are actually nonfiction. If I type in instead sea turtles into my search at the top, I get fewer results, there are only three. But once again, as I look to see, I only have one that is nonfiction. This one is in the short read section. This one is in our everyone books or our picture books. Now, if I type in endangered sea turtles, so again, I'm narrowing my scope and narrowing my focus. I have one book. It's that green sea turtles book in the five nine sevens of nonfiction. So this might be helpful, especially because I can see on here, the green little sign says the book is in, meaning it's currently checked into the library. So I could walk down with my iPad, bring it here, I could show it and get right to the shelf to check out that book. The other thing to keep in mind is there might be other books available in the school district that aren't here, but that I could put on hold and ask to be sent over to our school. So another tip is that you can go up here to where it says back office and click on that. You can then click on catalog. You can change the location here from Valley Middle School of STEM to Independent School District 196. And because you've known now that endangered sea turtles might be your best search option by typing that in and clicking return, we are now looking at all the books where endangered sea turtles shows up as a subject search in District 196. And we can see that there are 20 books that come up throughout the entire district. As I scroll down the list, I find out that there are 19 of the 20 that are all nonfiction. By clicking on any one of these, I can find out more information to see would this book be helpful for me, reading level, length of the book, and if I decide that, you know, I think this might be a book I would like to request from another school, I can click on the login up here, put in for you, it's your student ID number, 
and your password. And by logging in, you then get the opportunity to um, request that book. If you want to put a book on hold and you're not sure how to do so, I can give you more information about that when you come down to the library. Just show us what book you're looking at, what book you think you'd like to request from a different school. We'd be happy to do that. And usually within a couple of days, the school will send that book to us.